Please open your hearts and your purses to a man who is misunderstood. He gets all the kicks and the curses, though he wishes you nothing but good. Well, he wistfully begs you to show him. You think he's a friend, not a louse. So remember the debt that you owe him, the landlord who lends you his house. So pity the downtrodden landlord and his back that is burdened and bent. Respect his gray hairs. Don't ask for repairs, and don't be behind with the rent. Now you're able to work for a living and rejoice in your strength and your skill. So try to be kind and forgiving to a man whom a day's work would kill. You can work and still talk to your neighbor. You can look the whole world in the face, but the landlord who ventured to labor would never survive the disgrace. So pity the downtrodden landlord and his back that is burdened and bent. Respect his gray hairs. Don't ask for repairs, and don't be behind with the rent. Now, when a landlord resorts to eviction, don't think that he does it for spite. He is acting from deepest conviction, and what's right, after all, is what's right. But I see that your hearts are all hardened, and I fear I'm appealing in vain. Yet I hope my last plea will be pardoned if I beg on my knees once again. Pity the downtrodden landlord and his back that is burdened and bent. Respect his gray hairs. Don't ask for repairs, and don't be behind with the rent.